She is preparing food for the parents, the family who sold her to a British paedophile when she was 10. He didn't look nice, very strange. He was big and cruel looking. Dinesh is talking about her abuser, Michael Leach. An intimidating, predatory man who her mother was coaxed into selling her virginity to. I couldn't understand what he was saying, but I understood his body language. He was telling me to take my clothes off. He's now behind bars for 12 years. I'm not angry at my mum. We are poor and in debt. That's why she did it to me. It's a family with nine children to feed and a father who earns three pounds a day. We will never do it again, no matter how poor we are, even if we have nothing to eat. Danette's experience is not the norm within the virgin trade. The business usually involves teenagers in brothels and bars, and footage obtained by ITV News shows this 18-year-old's virginity being bought by Chinese businessmen. People believe that if they can have sex with the virgin girl, uh, is bring them uh, uh, good health and bring them the good luck. Some people believe that they can heal their disease. And it's uneducated families and their children in impoverished communities who are most vulnerable to Cambodia's sex trade. This institution has been running since 2008 and there are around 60 children here and they're now being interviewed by a special team of investigators because their director is accused of not only running a fake organisation but of also trafficking young children for sex. And we were given exclusive access to film the sting operation and the arrest of the former monk who ran the school. He claims he cared for orphans, but he allowed Western sex offenders to visit it. It is very difficult to control institutions in Cambodia. There are a lot of them looking after children. Some of them are registered, some are not. In reality, we have a lack of resources. Technology is an issue. Uh, communications is an issue. James McCabe, a former Australian detective, is teaching local police here how to deal with sex crimes better. The police are extremely poorly paid, but we found give them some support uh, and, and some capacity, they want to do their job. Child exploitation is not just a Cambodian problem, it's a global one. But here, poor children are easy currency, prey to those hungry to escape their own poverty. Lucy Watson, ITV News, Cambodia.